Hi, welcome back. Today we're making some beautiful rainbow chard with chickpeas, currants and preserved lemon. This is a really delicious way to prepare greens and I find that it's one of the ways that kids tend to enjoy it as well because it has little bursts of sweetness from the currants going through. I've got some beautiful rainbow chard here. You can see all the different colours which are really gorgeous. We are going to be using the stems so they make a lovely feature but you can just use a plain silver beet or you can even do it with spinach. So we're going to prep everything first and um, then it will be really quick to whip up on the stove um, once that's all done. We'll start with dicing an onion. I'm using a red onion here but you can use um, a brown onion if you prefer. I've just chosen the red because it kind of adds to the colour that we've got coming from the char. A couple of cloves of garlic, just finely chop those. and some parsley. And now we'll start our silver beet or our chard. Um, we're going to need to separate the stems from the leaves because they're going to be cooked at different times. So I'm just going to start by taking off all of the leafy bits. and dicing the stems. Look at all those gorgeous colours. Now we just need to shred the leaves. Just do them in small bunches, roll them up and shred. And the last thing to prep before we get cooking is the preserved lemon. So we only really need to use the, um, the skin of the lemon. So what I'm going to do is slice away all of the pith and the flesh and then just finely chop the rind. Okay, that's our prep done. I'll move my stove cover out the way and we can get cooking. Just heat your pan to a medium heat. Once you've got a little bit of heat there, add the onions. Once you notice them starting to catch on the bottom of the pan, add a little splash of water and just use that water to deglaze the pan to lift up all those little caramelised bits that are stuck to the bottom. Then add the garlic. And the rainbow chard stems. Look at that amazing colour. Doesn't that look gorgeous? So we want to cook this down, stirring occasionally and adding, adding a little bit more water as we need it until the stems are really nice and soft. Okay, this is looking great. Can you see how it's got some really nice caramelised bits on the bottom? Um, I'm going to just lift those off with a little bit more water. Because there's so much amazing flavour right there. And then I'm going to bring in the leaves. Stir these through just for a minute and then we'll bring in the chickpeas, preserved lemon and currants. Okay, 
Okay, check this. Currants. And the preserved lemon. Stir that all through. Okay, that's looking really good, almost done. We're going to season with a little bit of pepper. Pinch of sea salt flakes. And the parsley. I'm going to leave just a little bit of the parsley to garnish. Stir that through, take it off the heat. And there we have it, it's all done. So simple, hey? Silver beet with chickpeas, currants and preserved lemons. I hope you love it.